Now we will spend a few minutes talking about some special cases of linear equations, conditional equations, identities, and contradictions. A conditional equation is an equation that is true for some values of the variable. All of the previous examples we worked are conditional equations. An identity is an equation that is true for all values of the variable. That is, an equation that has all real numbers as solutions. A contradiction is an equation that is never true. That is, an equation that has no solution. We cannot necessarily tell which type of equation we have until we go through the process of solving it. Consider the equation 2 times the quantity 4 plus 2 times 5 minus x minus 2x is equal to 4 times 7 minus 2x. We simplify inside the grouping symbol to get 2 times the quantity 4 plus 10 minus 2x minus 2x is equal to 28 minus 8x. Simplifying on the left, we get 2 times 14 minus 4x is equal to 28 minus 8x. Distributing, we get 28 minus 8x equals 28 minus 8x. Examining the equation at this point, notice that the left side is the same as the right side. No matter what value we replace the variable with, the left side and right side will be the same. Every real number is a solution. The solution set is all real numbers We can also use a bold-faced R to designate all real numbers. Suppose you didn't notice the left side and right side were the same. We could add 8x to each side to get 28 equals 28. When the variable is eliminated from the equation and a true numerical statement results, the equation is an identity with all real numbers as solutions. Example 6 is identical to the previous example except for one sign. This equation is 2 times the quantity 4 plus 2 times 5 minus x minus 2x is equal to 4 times 7 plus 2x. The sign difference is on the right side. Using the same steps from the last example, this equation simplifies to 28 minus 8x equals 28 plus 8x. To solve this equation, we add 8x to each side and subtract 28 from each side. To get 0 equals 16x. 
divide each side by 16 to get 0 equals x. This is a conditional equation. in which the only value that makes the equation true is zero. So this equation is true for some values that is zero. Notice in this equation, the variable was not eliminated from the equation. We were able to isolate it to one side, which gave us the solution. Our last example is negative 3 times x minus 2 plus 4 times 2x plus 5 is equal to 10x minus the quantity 5x minus 23. Distributing on each side, we get negative 3x plus 6 plus 8x plus 20 equals 10x minus 5x plus 23. Recall that a negative sign in front of a parenthesis means we need to multiply the terms inside by negative 1. Combining like terms gives us 5x plus 26 equals 5x plus 23. Subtracting 5x from each side, we get 26 equals 23. This is an equation in which the variable is eliminated and a false numerical statement remains. This is an example of a contradiction, which means there is no value of the variable that will make this equation true. The solution set is the empty set denoted with a zero with a line through it. Notice that the x terms have the same coefficient, but the constant terms are different in the simplified form of the equation. Now pause the video and work this problem to check your understanding. Identify each equation as a conditional equation a contradiction or an identity. Then give the solution set. Part A is 4x plus 1 minus x equals 6x minus 2. B is 2 times negative 5x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 12x plus 6. And part C is 2 times 3x minus 1 is equal to 6 times x plus 1 minus 8. Play the video when you are ready to check. You should have found that A is a conditional equation with solution set 1. Combining like terms, we get 3x plus 1 equals 6x minus 2. Subtract 3x from each side. To get 1 equals 3x minus 2. Add 2 to each side. To get 3 equals 3x. So divide by 3 to get 1 equals x.
For B, you should have found that it is a contradiction with no solution. Distributing gives us negative 10x minus 2 equals negative 10x plus 6. Add 10x to each side to get negative 2 equals 6, a false statement. Part C, you should have found that it is an identity with all real numbers as solutions. We get 6x minus 2 equals 6x plus 6 minus 8. Simplifying gives us 6x minus 2 equals 6x minus 2. If you don't see it here, you can subtract 6x from each side to get negative 2 equals negative 2. A true statement, so all real numbers are a solution.